What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another concept crafting video. This time it is the Blaze Witcher. Alright guys, this is what it's all about right here. You wanna buff up real fast? Golden Vale. Flame Grammy Strength. And Fire's Deadly Sin is actually considered a buff here. I'm gonna take your pot. I missed too many hits. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole, you asked for it! And this is why I love this guy. Alright, let's try one more thing, guys. Just one more. Because I didn't show you the other part of it. So let's do one more. Same thing. Want this first? Jump down. Wanna buff up. Did you see that, guys? That was 10 fucking K damage. 10 fucking K. Anyways, guys. This guy doesn't fuck around. Like, it was actually worth more than a stagger. And, like, if you time it perfectly, you can get that off and a stagger. And then as he tries to get back up from get, being critically hit, you shoot him one more time. Like, there are just so many nice combos with this guy. It's just he's kind of hard to get used to, this, the Blaze Butcher. This build is a bit hard to adjust to, but once you get the hang of it, it is everything you wanted and more. And I'm sorry, guys. My controller is fucked up. That's why he's switching a little bit. Um, I dropped it really hard, so kind of fucked it up. But uh, it's all right. I'm going to get me a new one. Uh, I want to see if they have any, like... Well, I want to get a black one, or I just want to see if they have any new controllers that are, like, more heavy-duty or something, because these, like, I don't know. Or their the batteries don't last as long anymore, it seems like. And, you know, after taking some damage, as you can see, the joysticks are pretty bad. I, I think the, the PS4 ones were better. Anyways, guys, back to this. Let's see. Uh, memorize spell. This is what I like about this build. It is a strength build that utilizes some fire. It makes you feel like you're a fire build, but you're like you're barely using any fire spells. Like you barely have. You're using two ashes of war and fire's deadly sin. Now, there are situational spells that I personally like using. Of course, anything that buffs you here, uh, like that's a given. Like if there's anything here that you can use that will help you survive, consider it done, of course. Like, just do it, don't think about it. Other than that, the ones that I'm talking about are this one. This helps you um, set up Fire's Deadly Sin. So if you use that, then you can easily um, get this one off. Of course, this does not work on bosses, so this is why I'm saying it's situational. 
Um, other fire spells that I like to use are four different spells. Now you do have, you know, a few options from here. But all I use from here is all flame. Honestly, it's really good. Um, for how much faith I have, it's really fucking good. As you can see, I can barely use the spells here because I only have 25 faith. You can use Surge of Flame if you'd like. I personally do not like Surge of Flame nor Whirl of Flame. Um, flame Protect Me, I do not have it, but like you can use it if you're fight, fighting someone, you know, is casting fire spells. Um, another one that I like to use quite often is Black Flame right here. Um, you know, if you just want a ranged spell, you don't want to use too much mana. This is a good one right here. Of course, you can always use your shield, but until you get your shield, you can always use this, and you get this really early on in the game. Um, 20 faith is not too bad, even though you are only at 25 faith of, with this build, but, you know. Uh, it's a good spell, situational as well, but I personally use it a lot, especially if I have a faith build. Like, this spell is OP if you have, like, 80 faith. Um, 80 points into faith. Um, of course, the other fire spells are from the. So we saw I showed you one regular fire spell, one black flame spell, and now the frenzied flame spell. So the flame of frenzy, I can use it against big um, bosses or just big um, enemies. It helps stagger, especially if you can get all the little fireballs or bursts of yellow flames to land on your target you will stagger them fast i have a build the frenzy fanatic where i stagger um the dragon lord using mainly the flame of frenzy um and i use this one as well now this i don't use it to be honest but this one i like mainly for the range it has a decent range it used to be like really good but now it's not as good as it used to be but um still like it has the most range out of all your spells so if you want to shoot something from afar, this is the spell you go for. Um, and that's it. Those are the only spells that I would personally recommend. You can use whatever you would like, but that's all I would use. Um, so this one, of course, is to offset Fire's Deadly Sin. And these two are, you know, I don't need to say much about Golden Bell and Flame Grammy Strength. This one gives you bonus um, defense and bonus um, damage this one increases your physical and fire affinity attack power so there's not much to say about those two like, these two are like almost in every build um, and another nice thing about this build is as you can see I barely have spells like Again, I use these depending on where I am. Like, I would not be running around with the Frenzied Burst all the time. It depends on when I need it. I would love to do a playthrough for you guys using this build, but um, we'll see. We'll have a poll and you guys can vote on it. Um, so now that we're done with the spells, let's check out the stats and then the equipment and we'll be done. The stats are, as you can see, 35 Vigor. Because I feel like it's good enough, even though I am in NG plus 2, Journey 3, I feel like it's enough. But if you want, you can like pump it to 40 and take maybe some points out of mine in Endurance. Or maybe all, 5 points out of mine, or 5 points out of Endurance, or 2 points out of one of them, and 3 points out of the other. 80 Strength is a must. Dexterity, um, that's just the standard, uh, the default six, uh, dexterity that I got with my starting character, which is the Confessor. Faith at 25, so we can use Golden Bow and have access to a few spells. Arcane is default. And that's about it. Like, I would not recommend doing anything else. Like, any points, any extra points you get just goes into Vigor. If you're planning on, like, going to NG plus 7 and you want to level up all the way to 200 or higher than that and you know pump points into vigor uh, maybe a few points into endurance and I'll tell you why soon but that is up to you and the reason being is we use this right here so we can have all this and still not worry about our equip load so great jars arsenal is a must 
unless you're planning on dumping more points into endurance. This one is a must. I know you take more damage, but you have this one right here. So there you go. You're not going to take as much damage anymore. Um, this one is optional. Like, I use it. I, you know, I just... Whatever. I just put it on when I feel like I'm going to be using um, prelates charge all the time or just a lot. But if I feel like I'm barely going to be using it, then I would switch this one out. You have a few options here. Honestly, personally speaking, I would recommend Alexander's um, Talisman because that one is OP. It increases, you know, um, the damage of your Ashes of War. And you use them quite a lot here because even if you don't use it, you know, the Ash of War prelates charge. You will be using Fire Spit on your shield. All right, so that's a must. None of these here are useful. I would not. You're not really charging spells here. You can charge a few spells, but this one is all right. Like you can use it, but optional. Um, those you're not. You're not a spellcaster. Don't forget that. All right, you're not casting spells. You're not casting incantations. You're barely doing that. You're using Ashes of War. And you're using Fire Deadly Sin to get that extra fire buff. That's it. So the only other options, honestly, are Blessed Do Talisman. Because it will help, you know, with the Fire Deadly Sin. It will help offset that. Um, this one, because you do use a lot of your fucking stamina here. So the Green Turtle Talisman is... a a definitely a good choice. It is definitely one of the best choices. Um, now, you have the Claw Talisman also, uh, also as an optional choice here. Along with the Axe Talisman. Um, of course, this one is just for pre lace charge, just to get that extra heal in there. You don't really need this, but um, it does help if you are using pre lace charge a lot. When HP is at maximum, and I don't really think so. I don't think so. Uh, none, of, none of the, none of those here are really useful, to be honest. I think I mentioned everything that I would use. The only thing that I'm missing is Alexandra's charm. Other than that. Those are the charms that I just pointed out. Of course, you can go for some of these defensive ones if you're finding, you know, something that is it's using fire, using holy, or lightning, or uh, even extra physical damage. There you go, if you want to add that. Um, the Pearl Drake Talisman plus two, I think, along with, you know, the Dragon Crest would help a lot if you feel like you need it. But personally, I would use this one or the Blessed do uh, talisman and that's about it really so here um, flame shrouding crack tier and stone barb crack tier for obvious reasons I want to stagger the boss the enemy right away or as fast as I can and I will be using a lot of fire spells, so after I stagger him, I'm going to be burning the shit out of him, whether, whether it's with my prelates charge or with my fire spit right in the face, as you guys witness, or whatever it is. So you want to stagger him and start using your Ashes of War. And that's pretty much the whole point of this build. Um... I love the Drake Knight um, set just because of the way it looks and kind of fits the theme. You know, you are a Drake Knight in a way because you are using fires, kind of using the power of Drakes in your own way. It's like you imbued your weapon and your shield with Drake fire and now they have the ability to do, you know, these Ashes of War, you know, after being imbued with um, a mighty fire dragon that you slayed, let's say. And the Claw's Mark Seal, obviously it is just to uh, boost my Beastal Vitality a spell. That's it. That's it. I mean, there's nothing else that we're using that really matters that it helps with. 
And it scales with strength, I mean, you know, we are a strength build, right? So this is the only one I believe that scales with strength. And that's another like really important reason to have it. I mean, everything you have here scales with strength, so. And as you can see, guys, it is a strength build that really utilizes fire. Like 25 faith, you're not really depending on fire, but you are, you know what I mean? You're not depending on fire incantations or fire spells. You're depending on fire ashes of war. Um, and that's it, guys. Very straightforward and simple, I would say. Um, it's really fun, but kind of hard to master. It's one of the hardest builds I think that I have had so far to master um, other than that guys again keep out uh, keep an eye out for the poll that I'm going to have and there's going to be one more build after this and then after that build the poll is going to come out so see which ones you like because I am planning on taking this seriously and making guides for this game anyways everyone thank you all so much for watching like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Take care, y'all. Peace.